Welcome to chapter 3 of Murder on the Orient Express. For this chapter, we will not play as the famous Hercule Poirot, but a police detective named Joanna Locke. At the end of chapter 2, she told us she's on the trail of a murderer. But what do we know about her? Not a lot. She's not in the original books, and the game developers invented her to give the game a little something extra. So, let's become Joanna and see what her story is. I had just been promoted to detective after five years on patrol. It was my first time on a major case. Armstrong it had been a month since Daisy Armstrong was kidnapped. The Armstrongs were desperate for some sign of hope. I was there only for paperwork, to fill in some blanks. Cool. So we're off the train. Get to know the case. What am I doing? Look around and zoom in. Oh. I have a map? A topographical map. Often more important than a road map in these mountains. And the case file, which I wanted to check out with Pro but I guess I can now. The investigation is now part of a pile of investigations, and my captain sent me here just to dot some I's and cross some T's. So it's really cool that they did this, because I remember from the previous game they made, it was a different developer though, it takes place only on the train. Well, you can leave the train for a little bit and walk around outside. I think there's a cabin or something where you can go. But now they are, uh, how do you say it, giving us this viewpoint back in time. So that really gives the game another dimension and a bit more story. So it's cool that they did that. Lizzie Armstrong, a three-year-old girl, daughter of John and Sonia Armstrong. Victim was taken sometime on the evening of February 24, 2019. The abduction took place at the Armstrong residence where a reception was being held. Mrs. Morrow, Daisy's nanny, discovered the child's disappearance at approximately 10.45 p.m. The crime was audacious. How could the kidnapper know which was the window of Daisy's room? No, they could use a ladder to reach it, and no, they could enter the room without being seen. A ladder was found outside the child's bedroom window. It was used to remove Daisy from the house. The window, usually locked from the inside, was found open. Four-wheel drive tracks were found in the woods near the house. Nobody guessed drove a 4x4. So, the game says that this is not in the book. I think the chapter is called... Not in the book or something. But this, the whole Daisy Armstrong story, that is what Agatha Christie wrote. So it's not like they made this up. It's just maybe the way you find out about it. I don't know. Maybe they added some details. The misspellings are clearly on purpose. And they didn't return the child when the ransom was paid. So have a million ready in two to three days. We will inform you where to deliver the money. We caution you not to go public or talk to the police. The child is in safe hand. If the law enforcement protocols were in place, the Armstrongs followed the ransom demand instructions and paid the ransom of $1 million on March 1, 2019. Since then, there has been no further communication from the kidnappers and Daisy has not been returned. The investigation is ongoing. How could the child be taken with so many people in the house? So this is the father, John Armstrong. Wait, let me check. Yes, John and Sonia. We were hosting a social event to raise money for a local museum. There were many people, some of them total strangers to us, and we were all very busy. Then we heard Suzanne, Daisy's nanny, screaming. It must have been 10.45 or 10.50. My wife and I went upstairs to Daisy's room. Suzanne was crying hysterically. Daisy was no longer in her bed, and on her pillow was a ransom note. Wait, wasn't the nanny called differently? Mrs. Moreau. All right, so she's Suzanne. This is the mother? I can't imagine the pain her parents felt when they realized Daisy was gone. How are they going to feel when they realize I have no answers for them? Only more questions. The last time I saw Daisy was about 10.30, when I went up to check on her in her room. I noticed Suzanne was not around, but Daisy was sleeping peacefully. I stayed with her for 10 minutes or so. I assumed Suzanne would return soon, so I rejoined the party. So she was not suspicious. That's why I'm here. A damn computer glitch. Or somebody pushed delete instead of save. Whatever happened, we lost the nanny's deposition. So my entire contribution to the investigation is to take it again. That's weird. Computer error. The phone record of the night of the kidnapping. The last call was for 911. 
of the abduction for the Armstrongs and Miss Moreau. So they called Sonia. Sonia, John, Suzanne, Suzanne, John. Called 911. Wait, but who did you call? Sonia called this number and this number. John called this number. Suzanne called this. This is the same number. Oh, that is Sonia. So Sonia called John and she called Suzanne. And they called her back. And then Suzanne called a number we don't know. And then John called 911. That is weird. Wait, so Sonia is the mother? Mother. And John is the father. And Suzanne is the nanny, right? I'm sorry if I'm taking too long, but I wanted to make sense. So the mother, which is Sonia, called the father. So her hubby. And probably did not answer, I don't know. And she also called the nanny. And then the father called his wife, the mother. And then the nanny called also the mother, which is weird. But it's way later here. I don't know what to make of this. It's weird. The phone record of the night of the kidnapping. The last call was for 911. Characters menu updated. So I have different characters, I think. Take the statement. Um, I keep pressing tab when I need to press escape. Oh, I do have the same characters. That is cool. So this stays the same, only I could add other people. Suzanne, 35, French nanny. I thought you didn't know anything about her. John, 38, American retired colonel. Sonia, 32, American housewife. She looks like she's been crying. <laughs> All right. And this is what Poirot added then. Masterman, valet. 39, but come on, he doesn't look 39. Let's be real. I mean, he is supposed to be older. That's, that doesn't make sense to me. It does not. Then what is he, 20 or something? And she's 33, but she looks 60. All right, never mind. I'll let it go. What do I know about myself? Nothing. So now what? I take the statement, but how do I leave this car? Oh, like this. It's a nice ride, though. She can run. All right, let's take a look around. Can I go on the swing? No. Toys. Did they have one child? I think they did. This was their only daughter, and she got taken away. And she wasn't returned to them, but what happened to her then? Do we know that? Or hasn't that happened yet? No, I can't go anywhere. Right, never mind. And does also does Joanna need to collect mustaches because that will be weird, <laughs> wouldn't it? I don't know. Wait, where were they? No, not here. But this is a new chapter, so yeah. See, she has to collect them too, four. But she doesn't have a mustache. <laughs> It's the daddy. Good evening. Colonel Armstrong? Yes. You're the detective they phoned about. Joanna Locke. I don't remember you. I'm newly assigned to the case. It's about time more detectives were involved. My wife, Sonia, she... she hasn't been herself. Every day is a waking nightmare for us. Tell me you've uncovered something new. I'm here to here. speak to your daughter's nanny. There was a computer problem. Her earlier statement has been lost. Oh. I see. We had hoped... Well, do as you wish. I won't be far if you need me. I understand that's a disappointment. It also seems a bit um, unprofessional <laughs> to lose a statement. <laughs> can take a look at this. Their fairy tale became a nightmare. I can speak with him? How are you? Yeah, let's ask that because that's something you needed to do in the first place. How are you doing? Are you holding up? You know, in the military, you're supposed to have the stiffest of upper lips. The Desert War taught me that soon enough. But this, it's difficult. Damned difficult. Harder on my good lady, of course. Oh, your 
good lady. Do you know where I can find Miss Moreau? Her room is upstairs across the hall from... Daisy's. She seldom leaves it. Hmm. All right. Beth? I won't be long. Take whatever time you need. I thought he was angry with me, but he's still kind of friendly. This is a cool tree. He has a big house, though. There is a mustache! Not so really my one. style, but I'll take it. That's what I said, my style. Why didn't they make something else for her? Mm. It's a memorial. What a dear child. I can rotate. There's nothing here. Sympathy and support for the Armstrong family during this difficult time. Thoughtful. But never enough. Nice pictures. So that Mr. Wretched was a criminal or something, right? So did he maybe had something to do with this? And they took revenge on him. Could be. Because his secretary or whatever, one of those guys said that Wretched wasn't his real name. I don't know if this is the right room. I'm just going here. Yes, you are the nanny. A toy train. Now here I am on a real one. Lyon, in France. What a lovely looking city. I agree. Cat. <laughs> I thought, what was that on the bed? It's Caddy. All right, let's speak with the nanny. Hello, are you Suzanne Moreau, Daisy's nanny? Yes. I'm Joanna Locke. A detective working on Daisy's case. Is there any news? I'm afraid not. How can I help you? I'm really sorry. I'm afraid I have to take your statement again concerning the evening of Daisy's disappearance. There was a computer problem. Your statement was accidentally deleted. Of course. I want to help any way I can. Um, let's say summary. Tell me about that night in your own words. The Armstrongs had a party to raise money for a museum. I think. Mrs. Armstrong is on her board. I was in charge of Daisy. I stayed with the little one all evening, playing with her and reading books to her. She couldn't sleep with all the noise and the comings and goings. When did you notice Daisy was missing? I was only gone five minutes to, to phone my mother. She's in the hospital. When I returned, Daisy wasn't in her bed. I thought she might have gone to look at the party, but then... I saw the handsome note on her pillow. I screamed and screamed. I couldn't stop. I don't think she called her mother. It seems like a lie to me, the way she said that. Did you notice anything unusual before that? I was with Daisy all evening. Finally, she fell asleep. I didn't see anyone else or notice anything in particular. Do you have any idea who did this? No! I can't see who could have done such a horrible thing. The Armstrongs are such good people like my own family. Thank you for giving me your statement again. I'll get back to you if I have any questions. I won't be far. Okay, I have Suzanne's statement, but her answers need some checking. They do, and I have a phone list, or what's it called? Check the facts in the file. Uh, so... Wait. I have to check it with... Other oh, people's statement. Oh, that's cool. Armstrong's house is a party to raise money for a museum, I think. Sam was not around, but Daisy was sleeping peacefully. So this, this information one... does not correspond to what Suzanne told me. Suzanne said she left Daisy alone for five minutes, but Mrs. Armstrong says she stayed with Daisy for a while and Suzanne did not return. Yes. Score. One for the good guys. <laughs> Accounts given by the two women diverge regarding the amount of time Miss Smurl was gone from Daisy's room. Now, do I need to confront her again? I think I can. No, I cannot. Alright, do I need to speak to the mummy? But I don't know where she is. She's in Daisy's room. Isn't that what the daddy said? Which we can look at from here. This is a nice house. Across from... Could be this room or the other one. This is a pink door. Yes, she's here. So this is Daisy's room. The world room. through the eyes of a child seems so sweet. A 
a toy castle. When I was a kid, I had a police station and a tiny squad car with a siren that really worked. Shiny facial hair. The good news is that it's gold. Two out of four. Mrs. Armstrong, my name is Joanna Locke. I'm a detective investigating the kidnapping of your daughter. May I talk to you? When is your baby due? Mrs. Armstrong? Sonia? She seems catatonic. I don't want to talk. I just want to see my daughter again. That's all that matters. The poor woman. I can't imagine how she feels. Oops, cut you off, sorry. <laughs> Which can comfort Miss Armstrong. Everything looks okay here. Um, I don't know that. Maybe the notes? Nothing shocks me here. Everything looks okay here. Nothing shocks me here. It's just Detective everything. gets it right. Well, it wasn't that hard. I couldn't make a mistake, so... Show the photo. Oh, all right. Mrs. Armstrong? Let me show you this. Daisy. My little Daisy. I miss her so much. How good it is to see her face. I can't imagine the pain you're feeling right now. She loved her little stuffed animal, Fluffy. She took him everywhere with her. The kidnappers took it as well. They didn't have to. That means they wouldn't hurt her, doesn't it? Every lead will be followed up. You have my word on that. Thank you. I shouldn't lose hope. Somehow. I know it isn't my case, but I just made a promise and I mean to keep it isn't your case. Do you know where I can find Miss Moreau? She's in her room. Last door on the left. I already spoke to her. Tell me about the night Daisy was taken, especially anything about your daughter and Suzanne Moreau. Apart from seeing to our guests, I took a moment to check on Suzanne and Daisy in Daisy's room. Suzanne wasn't there, but Daisy was asleep. I sat with her for 10 minutes or so. Suzanne didn't return while I was there, but there's no reason for her to sit there all night when Daisy is asleep. I, I went back that. downstairs. Yep, so I cross-checked and May she's I come lying. Back if I have more questions? Of course. Anything I can do. Okay, the stories Sonia and Suzanne tell don't match. I should recheck my file and track Suzanne's movements. Check the phone numbers, but that's what I wanted to do in the first place. So she says she called her mother. That is not exactly what Suzanne told me earlier. Suzanne was on the phone more than five minutes. Oh, it was too fast. That is a great detective job. But it was like 50 minutes or so. 50. I have to confront her, yes. But to be fair, you could have done that without speaking and destroying the mother any more than you already have. I mean, you already had the phone numbers, and you already had her statement. So it seems redundant to me. Let's confront. If I understand you correctly, you left Daisy when she was not asleep? The party was very loud. Daisy was too wound up to sleep. I read her a motley mule detective story to try and put her to sleep. Daisy finally fell asleep. Right before motley mule solved his case in the book I was reading her. I had to make a quick phone call. No more than five minutes. But when I came back, Daisy was gone. Liar. The five minutes is a lie. This one. Confirm. Are you sure you were only gone for five minutes? Five, six, what does it matter? It was very quick. It does matter. Phone record. You say you were only away five or six minutes, but Mrs. Armstrong says she was alone there more like 10 minutes. And the phone record shows that you stayed on the call for more than 30 minutes, way longer than you said. My mother is extremely ill. It's difficult for me. I may have lost track of time. When I came back, 
Izzy had disappeared. It must have been a coincidence. You have to be precise, Suzanne. A little girl's life is at stake. Why are you doing this? I didn't do anything wrong. I would never hurt Daisy. I need to check Suzanne's story. She's panicking. Why now? What is she afraid of? That is weird. And it does matter 5 minutes or 30 minutes. We construct the following events. So I have goes to make a telephone call. Kidnapper takes Daisy, places a ladder, carries the girl down, enters the front door, climbs stairs. Hmm? That's weird. This must have happened after? Enters the front door, places a ladder. No, this has to happen before. Places a ladder. That's it. No rookie mistake there. The kidnapper it places go. a ladder under the window to Daisy's room. Then he joins the party. Just one guest in the crowd. He somehow knows when Suzanne leaves the room, then sneaks upstairs. He opens Daisy's window, carries her down the ladder, and vanishes. Maybe she's in on it. Did she give him time to I do all this? I should see if the Armstrongs can confirm what Suzanne told me. All right. And why isn't that Giddy a witness? You can tell me what happened. It would be handy if animals could do that. They would tell on everyone. <laughs> no one would be safe. Let's speak with him first. Uh, the phone call. Ms. Moreau told me she called her mother. Well, why not? I believe they are very close. And the poor woman is not well. She needs some experimental treatment that isn't available yet in France. All right, so he believes that? Did you see Miss Moreau during the party? I remember seeing her at some point, but otherwise, no. I was too busy with my guests. Wear the smile, shake the proffered hand. Yeah, I get that. I won't be long. You Take whatever time, time you need. A suffering mother. Check the number that she called. Call Mrs. Morrow's mother to check her alibi. What do I need to do? What is Q inspect? Oh, I need to enter the number. All right. It's over here. Two one four zero. Score one for the good guys. Doing that right the away. The number you have called is not in service at this time. Please hang up and dial again, or contact your service provider. Suspicious. The number Suzanne called is not in service. A hospital? Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Do I need to speak with the mummy again? I don't know. And also, can I enter this room? No. And I need to find my messages. By the way, where where would they be? I spoke with Suzanne. She was phoning her mother. That's why you didn't see her when you went to check on Daisy. Yes, her mother. I tried to call the poor woman earlier that week, but the hospital said she's been in a medically induced coma for more than two months. Suzanne told me she called her mother, but she would have known her mother was in a coma. Yep, she's lying. That's what I already said. So what now? It's no, is she really cold? Yep. Miss Armstrong told me that Miss Moreau's mother has been in a coma for several months. And the phone number Miss Moreau called at night is no longer in her service. No way she was talking to her mom. No, it's pretty hard to talk to someone who's in a coma. So, but what do I need to do now? Need to confront her again. Let's just book her. Take her in. Do you have handcuffs with you? 
The number you called that night is no longer in service. I... I... I don't understand. I that's, think you that's do. the number the hospital gave me to call my mother's room. You told me you were on the phone with your mother when Daisy was abducted. As we said earlier, I didn't pay attention. And was on the phone longer than I said. But since my mother is very ill, she had to leave her hometown, Lyon. Because the treatment is not approved yet in France. She is in an hospital in Boston for a special treatment. I call her every night to check on her. When I came back, Daisy was gone. I'll never forgive myself. I think she was paid to leave the room. So, a lie is every night. This one... Uh, confirm. Are you sure you called your mother? Yes. Every night since she was admitted in December. Telephone state of coma. Suzanne, I think you really care for Daisy. If you do, then tell me the truth. You can't have been calling your mother while she's in a coma. My mom really is in the hospital in Boston. She that. really is in a coma. I... I wasn't calling her. I was on the phone with my boyfriend, Noah. Why lie about it? Why are you panicking? Because he's gone. I haven't heard from him since the night of the kidnapping. I'm afraid he's somehow connected to Daisy's disappearance. That he was just using me somehow. But I swear I talked to him. Yes, for more like... 30 minutes that night. So, he couldn't have kidnapped Daisy at the same time we were talking. But he could have kept you talking so someone else could take Daisy. Yes, True. you can see why I lied. Can't you? No. I was afraid you'd suspect me of having something to do with it. You can understand that, can't you? Suzanne, I want to believe you, but you've made it harder to find Daisy. Exactly. Do you realize that? Oh Should have come God. clean. What have I done? What's most important is not what you've done, but what you do now. Go. I'll be back to talk to you. No more lies, Suzanne. For Daisy, no more lies. Yep, should have come clean immediately. The name might lead us to that little girl. I am on this case now. Whether my captain wants me to be or not. Yeah, but Noah's probably a fake name. Can I look at all the books? Oh, this is the book she said she read to Daisy. This is a diary. A locked diary? Let's see if I can shine some light on its secrets. Badly. Need to find a key, maybe. French book? Which makes sense because she is French. This too. This too. Is there maybe a key in one of these books? Dictionary? See, that is what is, um, how do you say, confusing, because sometimes you have to go back by pressing uh, escape, and sometimes you have to click the right mouse button. Flowers. With a card. From a Noah. card from the florist. It's signed N. Nope. I want to take a look at the chest. Or desk, or is it? Cabinet. Les Miserables. Oh. It is a musical. Glasses? What's in the glass case? Oh, big surprise. Glasses. Yeah, but better to check everything. I expect Suzanne must have gone through a lot of tissues these past weeks. So she was used probably Paris? An Eiffel Tower keychain, but no key. What's Small this? jewelry box. By the size, I'm guessing earrings. Why not open it and see? Why a key? put a key in a jewelry box? To hide it for her journal. But 
Let's open it with the key, why don't we? Hmm, that doesn't work. Hmm, that doesn't work. Wait, what am I doing wrong? Okay, Suzanne. <laughs> Let's see what you haven't told me. That's funny. <laughs> All right. Took me some while to figure that out. February 9, 2019. Day at the park with Noah. I can tell he's opening up more and more with me. I chatted on and on about my job. That's not smart. I told him how much I like the Armstrongs, especially Daisy. I really feel like he's invested in our relationship. The kind of men is so rare these days. Kind of naive. February 14, Valentine's Day. Noah and I went to the Blue Lagoon, our favorite restaurant, for lunch. It was wonderful at first, but then something happened. Noah received a text message. I don't know what it was, but he said we had to leave. He wouldn't say anything else. Instead, we went away somewhere in the mountains. Finally, we arrived at a cabin in the middle of nowhere. He told me to stay in the car. Not very romantic for Valentine's Day. It's not. 23? Noah gave me flowers. He's usually very attentive, but despite everything, I felt he was more distant today. I hope he is well. I would like to be more present for him, but I don't want to interfere in his private life. Ah, March 15? It's been a while since I wrote in this diary. I didn't have the strength, and I think this is the last time I will write in it. My dear Daisy was kidnapped, and I haven't heard from Noah since that day. It was the night Daisy was taken. He talked and talked. I left Daisy too long, and now she's gone. I thought he loved me, but he just never called again or anything. He hasn't replied to my messages since the night Daisy. I'm lost. It's my fault Daisy's gone. I didn't watch over her. I can see why Suzanne didn't tell me everything about this, Noah. It's clear when he disappeared that she realized something was very wrong. Yep. Just making sure I read everything, but I think that that's it. So it's not, that's not much in this diary. Four pages. <laughs> It's just about him. So, what did I get? Uh, so, I should check the identity, but how do I do that? Information? The diary? What is she hiding? But how will I find more information about him, didn't I? Check it right, I don't know. I don't know what to do now. Do I need to speak to someone again? To you? Oh yes. I imagine these flowers must have been beautiful. Who gave them to you? The gardener. They're getting pretty wilted, but I hate to throw them away. So was he the gardener here, or is it someone else? Tell me about your boyfriend. Have you been together long? My boyfriend? Why? He doesn't have anything to do with this. Please, because... Suzanne, the sooner you answer my question, the sooner we'll be done. His name is Noah Garretti. I met him at a Lunar New Year party in Great Barrington. He, he is a kind and caring person. Although, well, I miss him. He had to go away on business. He should be back. Hmm. Alright, so I did learn more. So, I did learn what, how many things? Two out of four. So maybe speak with other people as well? Do they know him? know anything about Miss Moreau's boyfriend? Her boyfriend? I know she went out with someone for a while there. More recently, I saw a man in a 4x4 who would pick her up on her nights off. He never got out of his car, just waited for her. She did seem to spend more time than usual on the phone these past few weeks, but she worked hard. We weren't going to begrudge her what free time she had. Since Daisy... Since the abduction, she keeps pretty much to herself. That's interesting because they found side tracks of a 4x4 four four. that was in I the case file. Take whatever time you need. Look, 
through the five or something. Yeah, I know, but I already know this. I read it, so... <laughs> Was it here? Yes. This one. These tire tracks could well be from Suzanne's boyfriend's 4x4. What's near the house? <laughs> hey, I'm a pretty good detective after all. Confront Miss Moreau about her boyfriend. This entry about a cabin in the woods she and no visitors on Valentine's Day. It wasn't romantic. This is strange. I need to take a look at that cabin. So did I find find everything about him? I think I did. But I thought I needed to find two things. But I guess not. Or maybe looking in the case file was also a thing I had to do. Treadmarks of a four-wheel drive vehicle were found outside the garden on the night of the kidnapping. Noah drives one, doesn't he? Where is he, Suzanne? If you know anything more about him, you have to tell me. I know what you're thinking, but it's impossible. He was very nice to me. He never did anything to make me suspicious. We went out to eat to the movies. Just like a normal couple, he's not the only man in the Berkshires who drives that kind of car. Yeah, but he did take you to a cabin, which was weird. We went out to eat just like a normal couple. This? I don't see anything that proves she's lying. Whoops. So no. This one then. You really didn't notice anything strange about Noah until he vanished? He could get moody at times. As if he had a lot on his mind. Valentine's Day. In your diary. You say that Noah took you to a cabin in the mountains on Valentine's Day. You read my diary? <laughs> I'm sorry, but we have to find Daisy. We both want that. So yes, I looked in your diary. I... You're right. He took me to a cabin in the woods. I waited for him in the car. He came out after a few minutes. He was very sweet and apologetic, but he never explained. We went back to the restaurant for dessert. Did you ever go back to the cabin with him? No. Never. So what made Noah drive all the way to a cabin in the middle of nowhere? He left her in the car. Good I question. wasn't there. This is important. I know it is. I can use Suzanne's directions to the cabin and compare them to the map of the area I have in my car. Find the location of the cabin. So we just spoke to her and she told us about a cabin or something. But how do we go there? Do we just go by car? Oh, this is what I need to do. What did Miss Moreau tell me about the ride to the cabin? They crossed two bridges and some thick woods. Then they passed the cornfield on the left and entered a heavily wooded area. Do I need to write this down? I just need to write there, I think. Get in my car. I don't know though if this is right. Oh, I have a map, of course. Let's see. Thanks to the information Suzanne gave me, I should be able to find the cabin on this map. I don't really remember the road, but I know that we left town. West town. And why can't I can only interact? That can't be the right place. What? Zoom in, zoom out, and it says move, but nothing's happening. I don't understand it. Probably not here. No, I know, but... Alright, so I can use my mouse. Where is town? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's uh, over here with the houses, then cross two bridges. Oh wait, the so yellow is rural area, land register, Can almost cannot read it, rivers, forest parks, I don't know, what is a bridge, and how do I move around, it doesn't work for me, because I can zoom in, oh, I was using my mouse, alright, that explains it, so here we have town, and then she says two bridges. This could be one. Then there's nothing else here. This is probably a bridge because it's over water. And this is a bridge too. Thick woods. 
Yeah, could be a cornfield on the left. Could be trees and more trees. Maybe this. I got it. The cabin has to be here. I have to find that cabin. I hope I'm not too late. Bye bye, home. It's a very sad story to get up a child. I mean, I always try to read the text, but it's way too quick. March 29th, 2019, 10 p.m. So that was a bit of a drive. It's dark. Okay, here is this famous cabin. Let's investigate. I was waiting for it to be done with talking, but it took some while. Noah brought Suzanne to this dump on Valentine's Day? What a romantic. Yeah, I don't think it had anything to do with Valentine's Day. It just needs to be I here. I need to see what's inside. That barrel is sturdy enough. I could climb on it. Alright, but I wanna check everything first because maybe there's a mustache somewhere. Could be, right? An X? Are you taking this? What? What? What, are you, what do you need this for? There's nothing but trees in that direction. I should focus on the cabin. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. May I open the front door? Hello? Is anyone there? Probably not. Nobody. I can't just waltz in without a warrant. Yeah, why don't you have one? Shouldn't you have gotten one first? Can I just dump, jump down from here? No. Mustaches, where are you? Right, let's try to climb the barrel because I'm not seeing anything. Maybe I'm walking right past it. <laughs> like I did before, could be. I need to move it under the window. But why do I need an axe? Is someone gonna attack me? I need to defend myself, but I have a gun, so that makes no sense. Ugh, an old hunting trophy starting to molt. Oh, is that a real animal? Ugh. Wine? Empty wine bottles. Somebody has been here lately. I don't know how long they are. I've been here. It's uh, from Daisy. It's Daisy's plush toy. If Fluffy is here, the kidnapper has been here. I have to get inside this cabin. So you're gonna break down the door now? Think she might. Or maybe use an axe. That's why I need the axe, because I need to break down the door. Where is it? Let's go and be aggressive. A mob Take it. for splitting wood. Perfect for attacking doors. Exactly. Let's do that. It's not really what a police officer maybe should be doing, but who cares? Why did my music become this exciting? <laughs> Nothing has happened yet. Or is it maybe now she has probable cause so she can go in? Look at that. A broken door to investigate. No need for a warrant. So that's smart of her, but it's also uh, not taking the rules that seriously. Some people seem to have played here before. Tape. The floor is scratched and worn in this area. Mm, the sofa must have been moved a lot. So we need to move it aside. Let's do that. Maybe there's a trapdoor or something. Yes, called it. But really, I want to check out the rest before I go down there. The stove is cold. Nobody's been here recently. 
A lot of tools. Hmm, I guess somebody noticed the cabin was about to fall down. And yet you broke the door. Some boxes. I wonder what they were used for. What about that machete? Is that not noteworthy? Let's go in this room. Why can I look at this? Or do I maybe need those numbers? 3892. I'll write them down just to be sure. Or else I know I have to go back here. Brush? That's a woman's hairbrush. Did Suzanne actually come in here after all? Would she have not noticed Daisy then? This is the wine. This bottle comes from the Blue Lagoon. What year are we? I don't remember. It's fluffy, no doubt about it. So take it with you. Yes, a mustache. Help yourself, Joanna. You earned it. So I need to find one more. I'm afraid if I go down there, then the chapter will end. So I'm gonna look around outside one more time. Just to be sure. Because I wanna have more. <laughs> Not greedy at all. Just a little. There's something shining here. Wait. Yes! A gold mustache. Thank you very much. Now we can go into the trapdoor. Because it would seem very unlikely that they would hide two inside the house. I would not do that. Damn, it's oh. trapped. If I move, it could go off. And that countdown tells me it wants to go off anyway. For this puzzle, you have to disarm the explosive. And just so you know, it is possible to fail. No, that was wrong. Whoops. <laughs> that was me and the cabin. <laughs> Firstly, you start by rotating the dials so the dots match. But if you're stuck, you can ask for hints, like I did. Eventually, it should look like this. Give me another hint. Whoops. Too late. Oh, I did it! Really? I don't even know what I did. Here, you have to make sure that everything is lined up in the middle. I kept going until I got it, but according to the internet, the fastest way is to press the second, the third, and the fourth button in that order. Yes. This side, what do you need? Uh, that was a guess. <laughs> I was just clicking. I don't know which one I need to choose. How do I know? Was that right? <laughs> um, let me see. One, two, three. This one? I don't know if this is right. I don't know this one. Is it the middle one? Yes. Alright. That should do it. But that was a total guess. Wow. I wonder <laughs> if that's how close it was. This would have ended my investigation right here. These yeah. rods are heading towards the canisters. It must be the trigger for the explosion. I kind of blew I you up three times, though. smell a strong, sweet smell. Damn. I think these are filled to the brim with diethyl ether. Incredibly flammable. It looks like the kidnappers wanted to utterly destroy this place and whoever opened this hatch. A wooden crate? I... I have to open it. I really hope this isn't in there. Oh, no. Daisy. No. So she was? I called in my discovery of the body. Then there was nothing I could do except protect the site for forensics. That's horrible. The forensics team arrived an hour later, cordoned off the cabin with crime scene tape, and went to work, looking for physical evidence, fingerprints, testing for fluids, DNA, any clues science can uncover. That's sad. That's a sad story. Luckily, it isn't real. <laughs> they made it up. I mean, Agatha made it up. I hope. They removed Daisy's body. The autopsy would take place in the morning. 
But I had one more stop to make. You have to tell the parents. Well, the good news is you did find her. But not the way you would like. Can't run anymore. No. So apparently I'm just too sad. Or do they already know? No, I guess not. That's horrible. What's the cat doing on the balcony? That night, I swore to find the monster who killed that child. Thank you for watching. Curious what happens next? Subscribe to my page so you don't miss anything.